So tomorrow I am going to Canada. I live in Turkey. Um, and it's a long, long way from here. That's a 12 hour flight. I'm going alone. Um, this is going to be my first adulting experience and I wanted it to be on camera. It, it just feels like a, like a, you know, a core experience. That's it. This is a, a trip to Canada vlog. I have a monster in my closet. What's up, Barney? Why am I going to Canada? I will be studying in McGill University. So today is my last day at home and I'm going to spend it with my mom and dad. It's going to be an emotional day probably, so I'm not going to film anything today. Also I want to add, just so I don't forget, two weeks ago I sprained my ankle. There was still like a huge ass bump there. It still hurts a little. Like way to go, two weeks before your <laughs> departure you do this. Congratulations. And yesterday, my dumbass was like, imagine like a really hard surface here. I, I put my chin on there and I was looking outside and then I had to sneeze. And I sneezed and I hit my upper, like the space between my upper lip and my nose. I hit it on that thick <laughs> hard surface, right? I go, I almost broke my tooth. I can't tell if if like like if that's my stash. Is it my stash? Or is it like is it dying? One day left. I hope I don't die. That's all I'm asking for. I really wanna go. First I'm gonna land in Greece and then from Greece I'm going to go to Canada. So that's gonna be a, a f adventure. It's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I'm going to camp. I feel so weird right now, um, but I am walking towards my gate, and that is basically it for for the moment being. This is very stressful. I've never done this on my own before, so adulting, yay! Okay, bye. Right now, I am in, um, I'm in Greece. I'm whispering because it's so awkward. It, it's very silent here. And I don't want people to think that I'm talking to myself. But I am. But I don't want them to know that. So I'm going to have a transfer flight, and then I'm gonna hop on to um, an Air Canada and go to Canada. Right now I'm editing the footage that I already have because I'm productive like that. I just had coffee and I need to poop really bad. But I get poop anxiety. Life's not fun and easy sometimes.
That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire fucking life. Right now, I'm carrying like a total of, I don't, I don't even know. In kilos, it's probably something near like 50, 60, something. So yeah, enjoying life. <laughs> Uber dropped me off at my residence and then I just left every single thing that I had there and now I'm, I'm moving towards University Hall to get my student ID. I need that to actually get into my room and I want to get into my room. Also, I was so stupid. I met one of the guys who is staying in my building, I think. And then I tell him, oh, do you know how I go to University Hall? And then he explains to me and he's like, Do you know how Google Maps I'm like, oh, f I do. I'm, dumb, I'm sorry. And then he goes, I don't sweat it. but I don't know where. Okay, so I am in my room, and this is my second day here, and I still have not put my stuff into their places. So it is a mess in here. It looks disgusting. Um, one thing that I want to say is that um, I'm really looking forward to my orders from Ikea coming so that I can finally actually spend a night in my own room because I have not been, well, I've only had one night here, but I did not sleep in my room because there's literally nothing on here. Um, and I, I don't know, I don't have a pillow, I don't have anything, so I, do, I didn't wanna like sleep on this. I have been having a good time. I haven't, because I haven't been staying in my own room, I haven't met anyone from my own residence, but I did meet people from the residence right next to here because I'm staying at one of my friends um, who lives there. It's it's a great experience so far. It's a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking involved, which is fun. I, I'm, I just got a, a video call from a friend of mine and I'm getting it again. So I got my IKEA stuff. The only problem is that I forgot about the, the DIY policy of IKEA. Um, that's on me. It's not on them. But I am mad. I tried turning this with uh um with the like one side of the scissors. This is all I could do. You see that? It's still out there. So, um it's not text. Uh an invite to a dinner has been sent. Should I accept? I think I will. I look disgusting. Okay, here we go. So I had an interview for the Turkish Student Society of McGill University, and I think I made it. I because it, it I don't know. It just went so well. Um, they gave me like a like a case, and they really liked my answer. At least they seemed to really like my answer. I hope they actually did like it. It looks like they liked. The stuff that I wrote on my application as well so I'm actually I'm, I don't know I feel like I got it don't know I don't want to I don't want to have any expectations but I already have them so um <laughs> apart from that I have yeah did it I already said this <laughs> cheers good morning ladies and gentlemen it is 8.30 a.m. in the morning. I took my shower and my skincare routine and I'm ready to slay the day. But the day is very rainy and there is a, um, 
lacrosse practice going on right outside my vin window and I'm sitting there and I'm kind of, it looks like I'm watching them, maybe even filming them. Um, but I'm just here because the light's good, okay? Okay? I'm not that thirsty. <laughs> 